Tropical Cyclone Trevor is currently moving west and weakening, but we maintain Category 2 Cyclone. Cyclone warning has been cancelled between Coe and Cape Melville. Cyclone watch declared south to Koeyama. And warning zone, Cape Greenville to Cohen, including Leichhardt River, Paul Peru to Cape York, including Reaper and Arakoon. Watch a zone, Koeyama to Paul Peru. And a cyclone made landfall late yesterday afternoon, local time. And the area that is now cancelled is Cohen to Cape Melville. And here's the uh, details. Currently Category 2, sustained winds near the centre of 95 km per hour with wind gusts to 130 km per hour located within 35 km to 13 decimal 2 degrees south, 142 decimal 6 degrees east, estimated to be 100 km south east of Reaper, 95 km east of Arakoon, tracking west southwest at 9 km an hour. And it's expected to re intensify rapidly once it moves over the Gulf of Carpentaria waters overnight and during Thursday, and then track towards the Northern Territory. Destructive winds with wind gusts in excess of 125 km an hour are occurring near the centre of the cyclone and are expected to persist for the next few hours. Gales with gusts in excess of 90 km an hour are occurring over central and eastern parts of the Cape York Peninsula between Cape Greenville and Gowan. These gales are expected to extend westward across the peninsula today to impact areas between Cape York and Port Wall as the cyclone continues to move west. Gales may persist in coastal areas between Cape York and Port Wall on Thursday as tropical cyclone Trevor re intensifies in the Gulf. Destructive winds are also possible on Thursday between Weeper and Cape Karee. Depending on how rapidly the cyclone intensifies, a storm tide is also expected with this morning's high tide about coastal areas south of Leichhardt River to Cape Millville, including Princess Charlotte Bay. And during today, a storm tide is also expected between Cape Curie and Mapoon on the western flinch of the coast. Large waves may produce minor flooding along the foreshore. People living in these areas are likely to be affected by flooding and should take measures to protect their property. Abnormally high tides are also expected around this morning's high tide to the far northeast Queensland case, north of Port Douglas. Heavy rainfall may lead to flash flooding occurring across the Cape York Peninsula with tropical cyclone Trevor uh, and will. Uh, persist for the remainder of today and a flood warning remains uh, current and Leichhardt with, uh, with the uh, crossing of the uh, cyclone over 300 millimetres up to the present time. And here's the uh, latest Tropical Cyclone Warning Centre's Brisbane office track chart on Tropical Cyclone Trevor and the NOAA floaters on the uh, cyclone Force 13 AU will continue to bring the latest uh, information in addition to the main channel and in addition to having tropical cyclone uh, Trevor, which is to intensify, now we have a look at a couple of uh, tracks on uh, cyclone Trevor, and as mentioned, is to intensify further. Could be a Cat 4, and here's the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre's the current track chart on the cyclone. 
And Trevor at this point in time, 13 decimal, 2 degrees south, 142 decimals, 6 degrees east. Maximum winds 85 knots and minimum central pressure 969 millibars. Tropical Cyclone Warning Centre in Perth has issued a cyclone advisory for, for Wanaka, Cat 1. Tropical storm on the San from Simpson Hurricane scale, 14 decimal 8 degrees south, 119 decimal 8 degrees east, 435 kilometres northwest of Broome, 730 kilometres north northeast of Kawartha, moving west southwest at 9 knots, and no impacts on mainland Australia for the next 24 hours. And here's the Bureau's first track chart, and they have it up to category three and what's it going to be on landfall and here's a couple of tracks on the cyclone the joy typhoon warning center is yet to uh, come on board i expect they will have a cyclone advisory when they uh, do their next round of updates now the NOAA float is and Veronica is looking very healthy when you look at the the rainbow imagery, the uh, white and the black. And it developed uh, quickly, a Category 1 system. We will continue to bring the latest information on the two uh, cyclones, Veronica and Trevor. And also via our AU channel, Upper Level Divergence is very healthy. Uh, 40 to 50 knots for Veronica. Wind shear, quite a bit of red you know, surrounding her. And the 24 hour shear tendency, not much blue. And my favourite, the A50 Minibar Vorticity. <laughs> 